New for 2021, this is Highfield Sport 560, one of 11 new models in a sport lineup ranging from 10 all the way up to 26 feet in length. If you haven't heard of Highfield then, you probably haven't been shopping for a rigid inflatable boat. With close to 30,000 boats delivered globally in just 10 years, Highfield is the world's number one builder of rigid hull inflatable boats. And one of the reasons Highfield's become so popular is their ribs are made from marine grade high tensile aluminum, which means they're light, strong, and extremely durable. Both the 520 and 560 sport models have 24 degree hulls, which means they slice through the waves, providing exceptional ride comfort. I just love that you don't have to slow down for two footers at all. And if it does get a bit rough, well, you can just flip up the bolster and stand. Big welded lifting strakes on all sport models get these boats out of the water fast and provide plenty of grip when you turn the wheel. Most tenders of this size have built-in fuel tanks, but the Sport 560 tank runs the length of the boat, keeping the fuel load as low as possible. And with 105 liters, just under 28 gallons, you'll have plenty of range for the next adventure. Engine sizes for the 560 range from 90 to 115 horsepower. And the 560 will stay on plane right down to 15 miles an hour. With 20 inch tubes, the 560 is rated for 12 adults with a load capacity of 1188 kilograms or 2619 pounds. But don't think the big tubes will sacrifice all the space. The 560 has a beam of 8 feet 2 inches, which means you'll actually have room for people and your gear. But these traits are common to high field boats, partly why they become so popular. But there's a lot more to this sport lineup, so let's head to the dock and take a closer look. The most visible change with the sport models are the premium features. At the bow, we find a split boarding step with an anchor roller and heavy duty rub rail. There are three main storage compartments all held open with stainless gas struts. And the console on the new Sport 560 is brand new with this awesome forward facing seat that flips up to allow easy access to the storage below. Big, heavy duty handrails give you something to hold on to when moving about. Panel switches at the helm are flush mount and LED backlit. LED deck lights and all of this EVA foam padding you see are standard on the Sport 560. Also standard is this small flip up table built right into the leaning post with handy cup holders above. Now perhaps my favorite feature is this level boarding platform at the stern. Getting into an inflatable boat, especially in a bit of a swell, is a real pain in the butt. But with this low level boarding platform and two side steps to either side of the engine, this boat will be really easy to get in and out of, especially with a four step reboarding ladder. Now this arch is optional and if you don't select it, you can get a ski pole if you want, but I absolutely love the looks of this arch. It's not interfering with the lower boarding platform and it is the perfect spot to mount a nav light or any other antennas that you might want to add for your electronics on this boat. And of course, if you have a couple of speakers, this might not be a bad spot for them either. Another option you might want to consider is the forward sunbed that fills in the large bow area with matching cushions. Short of a few roll-up models, 99% of Highfield's hulls are welded aluminum, which makes them light, strong, and extremely durable. Highfield only uses high tensile aluminum that is both chromated and powder coated. That means if it gets scratched, say on a rocky shoreline, the powder coat will resist any bubbling or peeling but that doesn't stop them from adding a keel guard on all sport models as standard equipment. Out of the water, we can see a few details that some boat builders miss. For example, Highfield welds a transducer mount just outside the transom, which means if you're mounting electronics, you don't actually have to drill a hole through the hull. Second, if you look at the tow points, they all have hardened inserts. So if you hook a tow hook there, whether you're lifting the boat or towing with someone, that tow hook isn't gonna eat its way through the softer aluminum. 
And if you pre-order your 560 Sport, there are six awesome new color options available. 